All right, hi everyone, this is CVGS. I am Dempster, and together with me, we have my co-host, the captain. Hello. And our two special guests, Leon. Yeah, hi. <laughs> and Jiraiya. Hello. This is our first podcast that we're doing for this. I like how special yes. guests are essentially on the same team. Right? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I mean, you guys will be appearing as often, Master. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yep, that's yeah. true. So, like Cap said, this will be our very first uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've actually done podcasts a lot in the past before, uh-huh. well, quite a few. Yep, but um, because of uh, technical hiccups, such as the equipment not being ours, <laughs> <laughs> yep, we were unable to continue. Correct. So uh, we managed to get the Mono Caster. By the way, this is not a sponsored. Um, this is it's not a sponsored video. At we least not, not by Mono Caster, because uh, that's the mach- that's the system that we actually managed to get our hands recently, yep. and it's why it's allowing us to be able to do content like this. Also, and we've always been wanting to do this content, uh, as Dan's mentioned. Uh, so we did start this in the early days of, of the channel so yeah uh, so we really want to bring it back and just have a round table discussion once more maybe not the same content that we used to do before but at least we want to share some you know some stories yeah uh, that's mainly the reason why we have myself uh leon and jiraiya here as well for this special occasion because uh i think coming up i think we should be at our fourth or fifth year it's been about yeah five years for sure. I've been keeping track of what I've been what we've been uploading mm-hmm. in our channel from the very first video until now. It's been five years already. Mm-hmm. But the team yeah. comes kind of like from like way back actually. Yeah, yes. correct. So that's the reason why I brought you guys here as well because I want to know from you guys like what exactly like how exactly CVGS formed. Now, as you guys probably would know, CVGS originally started as Crossbone Vanguards, uh, yeah. the channel at least. But uh, the channel was not the first thing that. C- uh, CVGS or Cosmo Vanguards did. It was actually way back before I e- before I even joined it. It started with these three buggers over here. Wow. <laughs> buggers, huh? Yeah, bug- buggers. Hey, buggers. Hey, buggers. Hey, let, let's keep it family friendly, right? Mm. Okay, so um, let us start with one of you guys. Who do you want to... Who, who wants to start with? Like, who originally started this Cosmo Vanguards idea? You're looking at... <laughs> what? <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. So yeah, okay. Essentially, uh, I'm the one who started the team. Okay, mm-hmm. this started way back in 2000. The uh, draft actually mm-hmm. uh, ten around there. Two thousand ten. When Vanguard first came out. Yeah, Vanguard first came out. Yeah. Vanguard came out in two thousand. Uh, Vanguard came out in two thousand. Ten. Ten. Yeah, around there. Yeah, around two thousand nine December. Right? Mm. I think so. No. It was somewhere around that time around because that now it's the the Vanguard tenth anniversary. Is only, uh, it's coming to the tenth anniversary. Yeah. So. Wait, two thousand eleven. No, uh, actually, the, no, the no, game yeah, 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 Guy reach a certain age, we need to serve our government through some of the serve the army, serve, serve, the, serve army, the army, police. Yeah, yeah. It's basically national. It's literally what we call like, yeah, yeah, national right. service. Yeah, some so. country has it, some doesn't, right? Yep. Yeah. So um, so basically, we serve for two years and stuff. And uh, mm-hmm. funny thing is that we were actually friends way before that. Mm-hmm. Then it's three of us, mm-hmm. uh, me, the Jiraiya, and the captain. We actually, actually to to be fair, you're not really friends. You just you just know him. Okay, we just know each other. Yeah, yeah. we really just know each other back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somehow um. We met again during yeah. national service by some sheer uh, pure chance and luck. It was uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the fact like that we were in the same intake. Uh, in no, you were no, we one passed out in the same. <laughs> we passed time, out in the same, but right. you were different. You were one intake earlier. Okay, okay correct. We kind of like cycle. <laughs> so essentially, we were together. Okay. The, okay. So um, at the time, um, when we met, I found uh, we kind of we kind of started hanging out together. Then I hmm. found Vanguard because of Dragon and Overlord. Uh, I like it and I bought it and then I asked Jiraiya to play with me at the time and he bought the Royal Paladin product which was the Blaster Blade yeah. so we had a bit of fun and then we tried to con- then we convinced uh, Cap to join in yeah. he was quite adamant about it at the start no not quite he was, was very adamant about it very <laughs> against it adamant against very it yeah, yeah. Yeah. he was like no I'm not doing this this no money way. is for uh-huh. rainy days I'm not gonna spend it and then uh, look and lo and behold um, so what happens next to come was that he owns more deck than any of us actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah at the end of the day, I ended up having most yeah. most of the decks that you actually see most of it on the channel. So. Yeah, actually, yeah. if you see Kagero Narukami, it's usually me. Royal Paladin, Gold Paladin is usually uh, Jiraiya. Yeah. And we and everything else under the sun is him. I'm the original uh, Rainbow. Uh, it was the Oracle Think Tank 
before the Oracle Think Tank. Yeah, he was the Oracle No, no, I, no, I never played Oracle Think no, Tank. No, you did it for a bit. No, he did also. He I, did I, one. I, I think it was Shreya. No, yeah. I never touched Oracle Think Tank. Is it? Then it was him. He was under the 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 United Nations, right? Was it United Nations? United Nations. Oh, sh**. Something dropped. It's like. <laughs> so yeah, so essentially okay. that's what happened lah. Mm-hmm. So okay, then passing on uh, most of the things that happened is usually between them because I was usually alone for the most part. Yeah, I was very kind, yeah. not because I wanted to, because my office has nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> so so they had their cover adventures for the most part. So I passed yeah. it on to them. Okay, okay, yeah. okay for my story right, it's actually uh, there's this new anime that came out. It's called Cover Vanguard. Then I was like, okay, I was actually. There's a, so there's a new card game right? so it's like okay something uh. different than Yu-Gi-Oh finally yeah not wrong not wrong yeah yeah not yeah. wrong at that, at that time right? so it's like something something different uh. so I went to go look at it I was like yeah actually I'm quite interested in the card game then after I watched finish like, I think like one or two episodes Leon suddenly called hey bro you want to play Vanguard or not uh. <laughs> the timing Prophetic. the timing was was almost there you know the timing was there and I'm like okay fine <laughs> I'm also quite interested in the deck <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's where I debut uh, what, BTO2 actually. BTO2. Oh, yeah, it wasn't sure. BTO1. No, it I was BTO1. He was BTO1. Oh, okay. Then I was BTO2. BTO2. I was BTO3, but we'll get to me later. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so, so on my first pack, I put uh, Soul Saber Dragon. Dope. <laughs> so it was like, it was like meant to be. <laughs> I mean, you can't really have a card game without a rival, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we will get to that later. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. This rivalry transcends 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, correct. We are not done. We, so, are, yeah. we are still not done with it anyway, so... Yeah. No. It, it, it's never done. It's never done. Yeah, mm-hmm. then... So we... So basically, it's like... Um, we had our NS. Uh, then after that, I... Because we were all... Actually, me, Leon, and Cap, we mm. cosplayed. But I never really seen Cap before. Uh, mm. Actually, mm-hmm. I met him through my NS. Yep. Yeah, we were in the same uh, squad. Same squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Chao squad. <coughs> Chow King squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were in the Chao King squad. Um, then, uh, yeah. So she from there not really much also lah. Huh? Not really much. Yeah, but it's, really the, much. it's a subsequent thing that you guys. Yeah, you guys were deployed into the same building. Yeah, we no, we deployed in the same place, not the same building. Nah, we deployed oh. in the same place. We were in the same yeah, squad. Basically. So I. I think I found out that he plays a lot of Final Fantasy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, then then suddenly we were into Final Fantasy Dissidia. Uh, yes, oh yes, yeah, at the time we were about really Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, were into Final Fantasy Dissidia. Yeah, because uh, uh, the PSP Dissidia is still one of my favorite PSP games. Mm. Correct, correct, correct. On the system. So yeah. yeah. So we bonded a lot over that and yeah. uh, over other things as well. So. And that is how I brought Leon and kept back together again. Because yeah. this guy refused to let me play with his PlayStation 2. <laughs> <laughs> All because he said no yeah, yeah, I, just, I, I was like, I remember this guy. <laughs> yeah, I literally what? became the bridge for the both of them. They're not best buds. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why were you so mean back then? Okay, uh, okay because back then, right, because I really was... It, to a, to a certain extent, it's still me today. Mm. But uh, I've always been somebody that is like, you know, if you somebody that I do not know and you're not mm-hmm. introduced by friend of a friend, right? Then I wouldn't really think much of you, mm. uh, to to put it nicely. So, uh, okay. so uh, at the time, uh, uh, my my club, cosplay club, we actually we were we had a chalet and then we were sharing with uh, with uh, Leon and and Jirai's team at the time. So because everybody was a close knit mm. together at the time. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, at the time, I just stuck to the TV and just kind of kept playing the PS2 over and over and over again. I was playing Soul Calibur 3 uh, because that was one of the games whereby like, I had a lot of first uh, single player experience with it because I like the branching stories and such. Then Leon saw me, then he saw me that I was playing and he himself is a Soul Calibur fan as well. So he, yeah. hey, he plays Soul Calibur 3. Me, me, at the time and still is to this day, I just outright told him no. Because wow. uh, two things, two things. One, I didn't know you. Yeah. So that was one of the reasons I said Two, I dislike competition. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I can uh, understand. I dislike competition. I don't like, I don't like pitting my skills against somebody else because I was too prideful at the time of mm. losing, and so and I, and especially against a complete stranger that I've never met before. Mm. So that's also one of the another reasons why I don't really stick with it. And that's why you see most of my decks are all mostly fun decks yeah. because uh, I stick more towards the the fun of it rather than the competitive edge. Yeah. I am sort of a sore loser as well. I mean, to this day, I'm still. A, Quite a bit. I guess I mean, they're all solo losers. We are also yeah, we're all solo losers. <laughs> no, no, I, I can tell you about this lah, because, um, you know, back in secondary school, we actually brought out, you know, our Gameboy SP, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, so, so, me and my friend, we played, like, Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Oh. Then I lost the game. I lost the match. Uh. Then I just turned off the damn thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember that I was like that too. Yeah, so it was like, yeah, so it's like, okay, friendship gone. Uh, so it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, really, really. He was salty about it, man, I tell you. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so moving on, Goodness. right? We're moving on to that. So uh, so eventually the team got formed together yeah. uh, sometime in to, uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Ah, yeah. we day. specifically chose that day so yeah. really yeah okay. yeah, yeah correct yeah. because so it's easy to remember because Skyrim also released that day ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, off yes <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like how one just came after yeah, this one. <laughs> so yeah uh, I picked the date to form a uh, Cross one Vanguard at the time mm-hmm. was because uh, Skyrim release date was then. Yeah. It was a nice day. It was a nice day. It was a very very nice day. It was a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. So um, also for the fact that I was getting Skyrim. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so why the name Cross one Vanguard? I mean, you can choose any chosen any name in under the sun. Why Cross one Vanguard? Because Crossbone Gundam. Yeah. Yeah, because of Cross one Gundam. X one, yeah. X two, X three. Yeah. You know, originally, yeah. you know what name they wanted? What? Otaku Knights. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that was my idea. So. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like dead against it, you know. I'm like, no. <laughs> if you ever told me now, that you guys are gonna name yourselves Otaku Nice, I would have said, hell, the hell no. <laughs> we, need, we, we need to change the label, like, seriously. Yeah, we need to change yeah, yeah. the signboard okay, and everything. Okay, to be honest, right, 10 years ago, if you teach me this idea, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's actually pretty okay. I wouldn't say it's the best idea, but at least it's something. Until I found out what Otaku actually meant, it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <what> <laughs> funny, funny enough, right? Full disclosure: this is the second time I tried to pitch that name. <laughs> <laughs> there was another. <laughs> there was another time. So. Yeah, then then this this fella, this Leon, right? So I said, "Otaku, oh, okay, well, we're all geeks in the way." And I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was like fine, right? You know what else? You know what else is good? We'll pick something a bit more friendlier. I guess Cosmo Vanguard, because okay. yeah, I think Cosmo is alright. Yeah, yeah, Cosmo was alright. Cool. Yeah. Then until they started asking me, so where did you get that name from? Gundam. Yes, <laughs> Gundam. Yeah, just Gundam. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool. And Cosmo Gundam was a pirate Gundam. It was really cool, yeah. and still is today. One of the more popular units, very rich, less known. Uh, yeah, but, but yeah. that one was Cosmo Vanguard. This one is Cosmo Vanguard. Yes, there's more than us. Yes, well, there was more than one. There was more than one of us. <laughs> yeah, there's more yeah, than one correct. of us. I mean, that makes sense too. But you know, if we are just starting out and you try to find the YouTube guys, yeah. you always end up seeing Cosmo Vanguard videos instead. Yeah, yeah. yes, of Cosmo. Vanguard. But because also <coughs> Cosmo Vanguard has like three units. Yeah, there were three. X one to three, right? Yeah, yeah. X one, ah. X two, X three. So it's like just nice as two of us. Yeah, ah. yeah correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. even at the time where we formed teams to go in tournaments, because at the time, at yeah. the time that CBGS was actually created to be somewhat competitive, mm. but we also want to keep it kind of friendly between ourselves, mm-hmm. Like we go in as a team, we win as a team, we have fun. Mm. Uh, so that kind of thing. So like, essentially, we named the team X one, X two, X three. Mm-hmm. Uh, ah, so okay. we deploy as a team accordingly, like, Because mm-hmm. at the time, funny enough, in Singapore, um, there was a thing that different teams were trying. It's kind of like you know. In Initial D. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, for those who don't know the uninitiated, is that uh, there's this culture in Singapore for every hobby there will be kind of like a Teams. group, a team. Yeah. You know? yep. And then they will try to like get territory and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of it's very foreign, you know, to many people that's outside of that. I think this is more of a Singapore and Malaysia thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. yeah. yeah. I hear this more around here than in the other countries. Mm, correct, correct. So yeah. So when we create a team and uh, people actually pit team against team, and then they like if there's nothing, they don't see eye to eye. They pit team against team, but we were kind of different. We were we tried to avoid all that stuff. You know, we just want to have fun. Mm. So if there's anything, uh, we try to get away from that yep. idea. Mm. And so even when I was recruiting, we just wanted to keep people who just want to have fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our recruiting criteria: fight three of us. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, at the time, the recruiting cri- criteria was uh, we had to go through go through the three of us. The uh, level yeah. goes from cat to me. Then to Jiraiya. Yeah. Yes. Because there's a reason for it. Um, it's because even though I'm the team leader, there's something that is kind of strange that happens throughout the years, even till now to this day. <laughs> is uh. that um, Cap is like he Cap is a good player. Yes. Uh, just that because of the way he plays, sometimes he makes questionable moves because he is not very keen onto the whole. As he says, like he's not into competitive moves. Mm. So sometimes he does some of the weirdest judgments. But we'll go into that later. Mm. But but he will be the one to be able to judge your play la, more or less. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then me, um, because I'm not a very lucky guy. Uh-huh. I think seen on camera a lot of times. Yes. And yep. the moments it counts out, I just die. <laughs> yeah. And it happens to tournament as well. So um, but it comes down to play, I have some of the more unique plays. Mm. Uh and 
I usually be I try I do it in a very unique way that um, I play not relying on towards the luck factor when I'm playing Vanguard. Yeah. So a lot of my moves is based on what's here, what's not. Everything else is probability. Yeah. Leon, I would say Leon's skills are more on competitive level actually. And right. the only thing that's setting him apart with all the pro play pro players, so to speak, uh, is actually just luck. Yeah, yeah, and I try not to get too competitive also because again mm. uh, as you established that we're quite I'm quite a solid loser from time to time. I'll make a lot of noise when I lose. I would not gonna I'm not gonna deny that I make a lot of noise. Yep. But I'll come back to it. Okay. Mm, yeah. uh, we have a new pressure mindset. Mm. Laugh about it later. Yep. Yeah. And then there's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's the combination of both characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got so, the luck and the skills. Yes, correct. <laughs> only when he's not in tournament. In tournament yeah, only when he's not in tournament. Yeah. In tournament, yeah, you can expect him to be the first one eliminated. But every other time, <laughs> on camera, also see on camera, he does the quick heal. Oh, that, that yeah, moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a bit of that protagonitis thing going on where he, <laughs> yeah, where he will, where he will draw the thing that he needs. There's so many times I lost count that I was going to win. Then he drew the one thing, or he checked the one trigger at that one moment, <laughs> in that such a specific moment, and then I just lost. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I, there was one time I was so pissed off I threw my deck on the floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even gonna deny that, I just... Uh, <clears throat> no, but that was, but but, that was consecutive losses. Anyways. Yeah, because it was at the time Blazing yeah. Flare was a stupid card. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was at the time where you were desperately trying to figure out how the card works. Flare. Yeah. yeah. The soul plus oh, yeah, I destroy yeah, yeah, one yeah, la, yeah, then there was the soul yeah. saver drop down soul plus five plus three plus three, three unit one play one. No, I think you were against low green right? back then. Still, no, no, green. no, no you're still playing soul saver strongly at the time. Uh, yeah, soul saver with low green. Yeah, because low green yeah. was the last. No, low green was was quite annoying, annoying because there's so many ways to soul charge. There was Magal came out first. Correct. Uh, so the young Pegasus knight or this. No, no, no. There were a lot of different. Pegasus knight is there, but dream is there to give power. Yes, yes, yes. So essentially, right, the deck was so consistent. Correct. It made the down the normal double art very dangerous, and not a lot of people play like that. Then other he's like, oh, even since I'm not gonna do the soul blast, right, I'm just gonna drop the soul table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct, correct, correct. Okay. And then Kageo had just a weird thing going on. Yeah. Like. So yeah, so, essentially that was what yeah. happened. So going back to the recruitment thing, right? Mm-hmm. So in order to be part of Crossbow Vegas at the time, you had to beat all the three of them. No, 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 uh, or lose to all three of us does not mean that you're in or out yep. because mm-hmm. when we do this recruitment right with everybody that we've done yourself included as well mm-hmm. uh, we be- we're basically looking at you as a person and as a player yeah. as well just the kind of person that you are because uh, our group has stayed uh, very long together mm-hmm. uh, only because that we we kept it casual we kept it to mm-hmm. this is just fun but we also catered to the competitive as well that's why we have people like Ben uh, some yeah. of you may know him better as Robo Frenzy. He's actually part mm. of Crossbow Megas. Right. Mm. Uh, then we also have other competitive players. A um, uh, few that I can mention. One that I can mention is also Brian as well, who you see on this channel. Also, mm-hmm. uh, he's also a competitive player as well, and he's still going strong to this day. And fun fact, just in case you all didn't notice, by now, right, most of the members that you see come uh, come onto the video actually has been friends with us for at least the whole the whole throughout the whole time that they've been here. Yeah, the whole time friends. Right. Only yeah. a handful comes in and out. There yep. is only a handful. You can count with your fingers and. On top of the already existing members, we have new members now. You think people like Brandon, Ram, Shadow, Kelly, yeah. you are you're seeing more recent these days. Correct. Because uh, we all get old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but to, to wind things back a bit, yeah. so so basically, right, everybody uh, went through, we, we processed them as a player. A lot of competitive teams, right, especially those that came together to form teams to go into competitions together, uh, most of them do not have the longevity that we have because uh, we kept it so that because we are close friends first and foremost. Mm. Uh, card gamers, second, mm. uh, competitive players also second as well. Mm. Uh, so uh, a lot of the times, right, a lot of people have asked Leon specifically, like, how, how is it that your team is still together after all this time? Uh, okay. Then my team has kind of like fractured to, to beyond repair. Yeah. And it's kind of sad that that is the case because uh, you know, I don't like to hear stories about, especially people who could have been close friends, were not close friends. The only thing that kept together was their competitive edge. Mm. Mm. Uh, and so it's kind of sad to actually hear those stories of, of groups like those just breaking up the way that they are. So. It, all, it, all for, it all boils down to what is the intention of forming the group in the first place. Like. Correct. If your so, intentions were right from the get-go, right, the friendship can last very, very long. Yeah. That's why we are pirates. Yeah, yes. that's why we are pirates. <laughs> okay, but right, right, when we formed the group, right, actually our goal was to just teach people about Vanguard. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the A main goal. A more like yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. educational approach. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Mm. To make because we like the game so much yeah. uh, and then you can kind of see how that concept yeah. translates mm. into what you're seeing today correct, correct. Uh, because of the fact that we wanted to teach we wanted to showcase yeah. mm. uh, and the idea also started with with Leon so the, the idea of this channel actually mm. 
Yep. Do you want to tell us more about that, Leon? Oh yeah, so <laughs> basically essentially what, uh, why I wanted to start the channel was just uh, wanted to showcase more games right? and we wanted to showcase more things that people are not into, things like non-meta decks and mm. things that people don't play like Heroic mm. Saga. Who plays Heroic Saga? <laughs> <laughs> who I did. plays Enigman? <laughs> <laughs> who plays Enigman? Okay, Enigman, yes, no choice. Yeah, no choice. No, 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 I mean back then, but, but okay, today? The new, okay, the new Agni Man at the time, okay? Because yep. mm. the new Agni Man deck also didn't fare out too well. There are people, uh, easily people like uh, Different Fight, he yep. does it, because he's such a TB, TB fan. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at like weird decks, we're looking at Law Keeper. Uh, mm. Nobody talks about Law Keeper. Uh, nobody talks about Genesis Witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But even the Witches are also one of the more slightly popular decks, but it's not in a way that. Uh, People play in the dollar for the most Yeah, part. correct. It's not oh, something yeah, that people will want. You yeah. see in a competitive scene, and, mm. and <clears throat> mainly speaking, right, whenever you go into short tournaments, I think this applies for everybody. Whenever you go to short tournaments, right, all you ever see is the strong competitive types. You hardly mm. ever see some of the other builds that is offered in the same set as well. Uh, so that's kind of like where we fill the void yeah. to a certain extent. Because uh, we oh, were. Uh, what? What? No hang <laughs> dreams. Uh, oh, but, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, so we kind of fill the void of that. So and that's why yeah. we have. Well, that's why I have the many decks that I do because I filled in the void so that we can actually have them on the mm. channel so we can showcase. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, going back to how the channel is made, you say you wanted to make a channel to so called edu- to to make the education even more widespread lah because it's on YouTube and I believe at the time there were not a lot of channels that do that as well. Uh, no. At least when we were during our inception, uh, okay. there were not that many channels. Yeah. Uh, there were some prominent ones that that that, that, that were gaining traction at the time. They were still mm. in the low numbers around mid ten k. Yeah, 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 at the mm. time also, and then now they have gone fine beyond beyond there. Mm. Uh, but uh, yes, you are right. There were not that many yeah. uh, uh, channels that were dedicated to to Vanguard, especially those that really showcase the 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 decks themselves, competitive or not. Mm. Uh, there was really hardly any. You, you couldn't get any sort of idea of what is in the deck or what is the deck all about. So, mm. uh, especially if you're a new player, you're trying to get in uh, to the game. You mm. hardly have any clue as to what's going on yeah that's also why probably why we end up not doing a lot of like card insights because yeah. i know a lot of a lot of channels a lot of platform that does like a uh, card of the day mm. or there's things come new releases news and all kind of stuff the reasons why we don't do it although we know that it's going to get uh, a lot of views at the time mm-hmm. not only time was one thing the second is that we don't have proper equipment or mm-hmm. edits mm-hmm. and lastly um we have other things that we need to attend to correct time so also yeah. time like, essentially it's time uh, yeah. time then everybody has things their own their own personal stuff to do and, yeah. we, and we rather play the card so that people can see it yeah. that was kind of more the idea like. even yep. though yes uh, granted that we could have had more people coming on to the channel and see more um, but we decided to kind of scrape that at the time like. so yes. we want to showcase more unknown things rather oh, of course that didn't kick off the world yeah. Yeah. although I would like to say <laughs> that I I was the one who pitched the idea to do the videos, right? I don't remember actually. I was the one that did the was, first video. I think it was. Back at Novena. More way back. Way back. Yeah, way back. Back at Novena. But again, uh, we didn't have the equipment and stuff. Yeah, we, yeah. we all used phone, then we just upload at Facebook. So, ah, right. Uh, at the but, time, also, that's what I, how everybody was doing also. Digital. But yeah. I was so mm. adamant at the idea that I don't want to just upload because that wouldn't make us any difference. So we wanted to have something special. Yeah. And yeah. then, like, five years later, came Dempster. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just came in doing. I just came into the Legion era, so I wasn't very sure about how how Vanguard was at the time. The only reason I even got into Vanguard was because oh, there's one card that looks like Blastoise, <laughs> and that was the, that was the most terrible card in existence. Wait, who? What? Tetra Burst Dragon. Oh, Tetra Burst it was Dragon. the Legion. It was the Legion for for Blue Storm. Oh, Tetra and, uh, God, it was terrible. Looking back, that card was horrible. The skill was the skill was bad. Mm, oh, speaking of Legion. Oh yeah, I did skip in almost the entire Legion. Arc. Yeah, well, because the Legion arc was very short. Yes. And there's been a lot of redeeming factors. Like it was basically just which one had the more which one had the more protagonist power. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's actually yeah. yeah. It, it, Legion was really a short season, so there wasn't really a lot of releases. So you didn't mm. really miss it, much. It was it yeah. was a marketing fest. <laughs> marketing fest. <laughs> it was it was. Okay. I, I, yeah, I like the concept of Legion, but the the way that it ended up being executed was very poor. Yeah. Uh, especially since they 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 felt like it was a failure, and then they immediately kind of scrapped it and then moved straight to strike. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but it was also a blessing in disguise uh, because if you won't that, I wouldn't have come in. Also. <laughs> Correct. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Okay. And because uh, I was previously doing a lot of YouTube videos before uh, before coming in to CVGS yep. so I had like some some bit of experience in, in doing videos and all and then uh, when Leon said hey uh, uh, we actually want to like start a channel and do other stuff I'm like okay let's just create the channel first 
let's create the account because <laughs> we haven't even done that before. Right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, to create yeah. after that, I was thinking, okay, how are we gonna do? It? Well, what logo are we gonna use, etc. And all. And after that, because there was a there was a period of time between Legion Art and to the G era where yep, there, yep. No, there was nothing going on for the channel. So I decided, you know what? Let's just uh, I'm just gonna try and record a few videos uh, for the unboxing and see how it goes. And uh, that's where the first two videos actually came out, which was the GBT O no GTD O three and O four. O three and O four. Yeah, O three and O four. That was uh, our literally our first videos. The Tavas and uh, Tavas, Tavas and, and Asha. Asha. Ah, Tavas yeah. and Asha. And those were all filmed at home. In yeah. my home. <laughs> it was a very bad video, but yeah, then after that we, then after that we, we did the after we uploaded the video, right? Then um like more and more people start to see it and then we decided we should do a a trial deck fight between the two of them. Mm. So we roped the band in also mm -hmm. and then we filmed our very first fight ever. Mm -hmm. It was okay like, I mean it was it was messy. <laughs> right. But we were but still learning, yeah. But what set us apart from uh, a lot of other card game channels by the time was the a lot of people say like the production value was very high. Uh, because like what Leon says, we want to do something special for our videos. We don't want just like bah, the video there, put yeah, it out there, right, yeah. see. So we wanted to put in something special. So that's where all the sound effects, UIs, card skills, everything came in. It also ties into our education um, approach to the card game as well. So people will understand what's going on, uh, how this works, how that works, etc. Yeah, also kind of also like why our video takes quite a while to produce. And, yes, uh, yeah. To produce. Even till today, it takes like four okay, Initially, yeah. it was just myself editing video. It was very tiring. <laughs> yes, it's like correct. okay, today film, then okay, then at night I'll edit. Tomorrow I'll put it up already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. at that time there was there wasn't a lot of things to do, mm -hmm. so it was very easy to get things out. But the more we upgrade the UI, the more work we have. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, mean, I figured I can't do this alone. Cap, come. Uh, yeah, share yeah. the burden and with me. Yeah, even if I shared the burden with him also, there was still a lot of things that we had to keep track. Yes. That's why today you see we don't keep track of the, the hand size or the soul count mm. anymore. Yeah, there were too uh, many. Because there was, it, it took so much longer for us to actually uh, keep track of those and that mm. ended up taking mm. the videos out. And we were trying to do a weekly release. Yeah, uh, we at were. the time also, mm. uh, so it was super time consuming. Mm. Uh, then eventually, uh, when we started to slow down on Vega itself, uh, so then we decided that those two things, right, actually, uh, kind of, yeah, had to go mm. just to make sure that that not only we can keep to a, a more regular schedule, but also mm. so that we can um, uh, get those videos out at a much better fashion. So yeah, uh, because what we wanted to showcase was all right there. Right then and there, mm. it was the the skills, it was the the deck capabilities, and what the deck was all about, and so on and so forth. Mm. Uh, having stuff like, especially nowadays, it's become redundant. Having stuff like like generation break, mm. and all that, uh, it just ended up being useless parts of the AI, so, uh, the UI, which we together. Yeah, uh, yeah. unfortunately. Stop keeping track. So, so that's why mm. you had all those seasons, right? Yes. Yeah, every season is like an upgrade to our VR. Uh, you to are, our video, UI. either upgrade or downgrade, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upgrade <laughs> and downgrade. So I would say it's an upgrade. After that, the current season is like a bit, a bit of a dip, but then it continues. Then uh, uh, technically, uh, it's still season four. Yeah, <laughs> we never move to season five. We never move to season five. So maybe we should try to. Re re uh, we will yeah, look into yeah, yeah. to see what we can yeah, do to yeah. move into. But that's uh, a conversation for another time. So, yeah. All right. So, back. so, so uh, Crossbone Vanguard mm. eventually changed to CVGS. Uh, for a few reasons actually. Uh, Leon, do you want to tell us about it? Oh yeah, because we started moving to Battle Spirit as well mm -hmm. uh, and Cosmos Vanguard sounded very generic in after a while is that like we're just doing dedicated to Vanguard uh, yeah. because uh, at first we wanted to do dedicated to Vanguard but after a while there was a burnout there was a very drastic burnout because yeah. of the way that the card version was releasing we couldn't keep out every set mm. it's not easy trying to uh, balance out your life and keeping out card track records especially Correct. when uh, we don't have any uh, official supporting in some ways like most channel I believe mm. yep. but uh, we wanted to prioritize everything else in our lives so we tried to, we tried to avoid spending too much on cards and of course with the way that some cards are releasing some people had to end up buying two to three sets consecutively in the in the same few months mm. and in that was uh, and it's no joke especially for people like Cat because mm. we're te texting because for me and Jiraiya we just focus on Kagero oh, yeah. Our own clan respectively, like yeah. Yeah. Uh, specialized. But he has to tank out the rest of the things before some of the other members started also purchasing together <laughs> and share and yeah, that wasn't easy. Was painful. Yeah, that was easy because uh, I ended up filling up for, for clans, right? That nobody was taking up or mm. clans that people completely abandoned. So yeah, right. And it, it didn't help with the case that uh sometimes when you do chip in for a clan, right, they only release a handful of cards and you're paying over a few hundred dollars for it. Yeah man, mm. well I remember that time. Oh. Oh, it was frustrating, man. So, yeah. so hence also why we eventually we we shifted into battle spirits, and of course, as you probably noticed, uh, there was a period of time we just did purely battle spirits. We not mm. that we abandoned Vanguard, but there was a complete burnout, and mm. uh, we needed a fresh new 
take on other games. Yeah. Mm. Financially also, we were, unest- we were unable to sustain Vanguard because mm. we also have Battle Spirits coming in. And yeah. the, the boost that were given for Vanguard is, for lack of a better term, it's kind of ridiculous to a point where even if we do chip in for the whole carton, it's not a guarantee that we'll get what we want. Mm. And most of the time also, uh, the other problem was that we were starting to stack out on common cards that we thought that would come in useful. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of card games have this tradition where common cards usually makes a comeback. Mm. Yep. Because I'm a I'm a I was a ex Yu-Gi-Oh player. I, I still play a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, but not physically. I just play on digital and mm. just uh, have fun but I don't invest in it anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh is that usually sometimes this card can come back as a part of the combo, but unfortunately for a lot of Vanguard cards, commons especially, mm-hmm. not only a handful where they will make it out of that. Yeah. Actually, even after all, nearly 10 years, right, you can count with your fingers that how many of them are actually good Flo today. Mm. Flogout. No. No, 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 Flogout. Yeah, it was, it was. Flogout No, Flogout got upgraded. Flogout got upgraded. Huh? Not the, the original Flogout, though. The Flogout, no, no, Caroline, the, Flogout. The Flogout, right? Yeah, the Critical yeah, Flogout. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one that the resistance, the Master Blade. Yeah, yeah that, that, one, one that one is upgrade. That one is the upgrade. We're talking oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not It was about a rare original. I mean it was No it was a common no, A common yeah, It was common, but, was a common. Uh, but because of the way That it was created It was dedicated uh. to Blaster Blade Blaster Blade was basically The plan yeah. uh, <laughs> In fact I would say clear. right From the very first set right The only The only two that really survived Throughout the entire time Was Dragon Overlord And Blaster Blade yeah. Yeah. Those and were really the only two If you had those right Then pretty much You're set for For, for the rest of your clan <laughs> They're like right? the carries And, of and, the and Blaster yeah. Duck yeah. Uh, Blaster <laughs> Duck too The three of them Yeah the carries of the game Correct <laughs> Essentially, la. so uh, but everything else that came after it was uh, kind of uh, eating into you. And sometimes mm. singles get very expensive. Yeah. But Battle Spirit was uh, more affordable at the time. Yeah. Mm. It was more affordable. And at the same time, um, we the, the, there was a fixed drop rate, actually. Ah. Yeah. 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 yeah, at least for, you would guarantee at least like five copies or so. Sometimes you get a, maybe a word extra, yeah. but you wouldn't get a random number. Because remember, getting Vanguard, sometimes I do get like uh, inconsistent numbers. Even within yeah. the carton itself also, the numbers are inconsistent as well, because mm. you get eight of uh, uh, a triple R, mm. and then after that, you get four of another triple R. Yeah. yeah, so even within the carton itself, it wasn't uh, consistent. Mm. Uh, Battle Spirits was different because of the fact that even within the cutting itself, right, there is a consistent number through mm. and through. Oh, yeah. but I, li- I would like to say that, you know, like coming to the end of G era, uh, when there is, uh, you know, the Zero of Dragons. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. No, I think from, I think a, a bit like, I think one or two boxes before that, I think they start to like. They start to streamline. They start to yeah, yeah, yeah. streamline. They did start to streamline afterwards, so, but by then, I think the damage was done. Yeah, 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 at the same time, time that's kind of like a subject the, of another time. So. <clears throat> the new rarities they brought in pretty much killed the game for us. What is S C R? Yeah, there, there were too many Z-R, rarities Z-R, that we Z-R, couldn't keep R S V. Yeah, like even okay, like even for Battle Spirits, right? The 10X rares are even though it's a new rarity, they don't really change much to the whole the whole carton formula. Correct. Right. Yeah. It still can, stays consistent. It's like you can just count, you know. Uh, yeah, but, you can actually count, yes. Yeah, uh, but with Vanguard stuff like like the, the ZRs and all that, right? Yeah. Uh, that really <laughs> killed a lot of uh the the rates and such as so I even mm-hmm. made a I even made like a, a a parody rant video about it, which never went up on the channel. I still have the script in, in, oh, in the yeah, drive. That one. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. but but like it, it's past the point already. So but at the time I kind of wish that I had produced that video because mm. that would have been super super fun to actually record yeah. and do. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but moving on, so that's essentially also why I changed the, we decided to change the name. Because you want to cover more than just card games, you also mm. want to do video games. Then we eventually just end up just doing what we want. Uh. Yeah, and then we yeah. just end up doing whatever we want. So, <laughs> in fact, us rebranding from Crossroad Vanguard to CVGS was to make it so that it's easier for us to venture into other games yeah. as well. Especially since uh, the, the game that we were known for, Vanguard, uh, really tucked us out to, to, to a far extent. Yeah, mm-hmm. and also just to be pr- perfectly frank and honest with everybody else, uh, trying to focus on the one game right got us all also very tired to mm-hmm. some extent. Then we now, as you can see, uh, we just kind of post whatever we want. You no, know? yeah. we just want to have fun. Uh, yeah, we just want to have fun and just fun. yeah, and but, rope you in on the fun as well. So yeah, uh-huh. we still do our Vanguard videos whenever we can because actually also one of the other reasons why we end up covering Battle Spirit as well. Most of the other Vanguard players that is on the channel eventually moved on with their lives. Yeah, but they're still here. But they come in whenever they can. But they also end up doing other things as well. They have that. They have a day job, or they just straight yeah. up doesn't want to play anymore. Correct. Things like that. So we, we've all happen. grown up to a point where mm. it, we are we're hitting we're hitting our adulthood, yeah. or we are already in our adulthood. <laughs> yes. As Leon aptly puts it, so we are, we all got old. Yeah, yeah we all got, we are getting <laughs> old. Yeah, just for the record, I'm like yeah, 50, nearly 10, I'm like nearly thirty, huh? 50, yep. 50 yeah. in and out. Yeah, yeah. most of the time. So, I mean, if you want to get rid of Vanguard, it's still fine, I'm but not, no not, not, not to the point where we buy cartons just uh, to share. Yeah, so. we, only buy, we only buy like play sets or what we need. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. On that note, <laughs> right. on that note, let me just move on to our YouTube membership. Now, if you can see at the bottom, uh, there's a join button now. Yes, there's actually a join button yeah. below. So you can join us as a member. Uh, we have certain perks for you. Uh, the, those perks are not exactly the most pretty thing, the prettiest thing, but it's what we can offer at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we also need money. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if, okay, if, for those that have been veterans of our channel, has been following us uh, mm-hmm. since close to start. You guys remember that we used to have a Patreon. Yes. Uh, yes. So and then uh, that was way that you could actually get early content videos from us and such. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, we eventually ended uh, doing that on Patreon because we weren't able to to support it uh, because of yeah, the workloads and, yes. and the reasons explained uh, earlier so uh, mm-hmm. so the the YouTube membership uh, since it's now officially supported by YouTube it's a way for us to actually be able to kind of do the same thing uh, and then we also can give you guys a lot more uh, perks and benefits for the YouTube channel itself yes uh, so we start uh, you may have seen the, the join button some time ago but this would be our first time actually announcing it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Yep, so uh, we currently only have three perks, but we will be adding more as the time goes on. So the very first one will be a first banger pack, a first banger perk, which will give, which we will do a shout out of your names in our, our videos. Yep. Um, similar to what we've done in Patreon before. Uh, we, we, we can do it in a different way. So. Yes, uh, definitely. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's basically the same thing. You get a shout out in our videos as well as uh, your a loyalty badge. Uh, as you stay as a member with us long enough, your loyalty badge will increase in grade. Uh, so as you can see right now, uh, if you just started up, it'll be grade zero, and then eventually we'll move up to one, two, three, four, and then finally five. Yep. Yes. And if you didn't notice, um, the loyalty badges is actually something like a like a rarity system in a lot of uh, gacha games right now. Yep. With grey being the commons, and then we have green, blue, purple, and finally gold and rainbow. Those six, oh yeah, those six of us. Rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. So the longer you stay with us, uh, the the higher your loyalty badge will increase. Um, so that's and, and and in addition to that, we also have uh, custom made emojis that you have seen on our Discord, <laughs> but you can use it in YouTube as well. Yep. These are the meme emojis that we've been working on, and it's really fun. And we have lots of ideas to do more. So if the more members join us the more uh, of these emoji stickers you'll get. Yes. Okay, then moving on to the stand and draw perk. This one will get all the previous perks in First Vanguard plus a CVGS game time. This will let you play with us uh, during our gaming sessions. Uh, no, it'll be a private session. Pri- private, private, private session. session. So private yes, session. yep. Uh, of course, uh, this private gaming session, we will tell you in a week, about a week in advance, uh, what we will be doing, what games we play, and then we'll ask you to join us. And the, the games that we play will be recorded and put up on the channel. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, sort of like a members only kind of uh, interactive yep. time. Only sense. No, no. <laughs> I mean, in a way, technically speaking, yes, that's yeah. true. Technically, it's only fans only that join us for our private yeah. games. But it's family. Fans. Yes, but it's only fa- it's yeah. family friendly. Yeah, don't worry, guys, you won't get to see Dempsey's or Cat's butt. Just, you know, Neither will you see Leon's butt as much as he's nicer than all yep. of us. Okay, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay. I'll be working out. <coughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Alright, for the last perk we have is the imaginary gift perk. This one will give you all the perks from First Vanguard and Stand and Draw, plus a video request now what this video request is is basically you can request to us what video you want us to make because we have a lot of ideas but we also want your input on what you want us to do and if you give us a request we will work towards making it on a channel uh, as much as we can of course um, we will we will also discuss with you if possible how you want the video to be made basically you're like a director uh, basic, for us. a producer basically a producer, producer. Uh, you'll, producer. Be, you'll basically be a producer for this one video and then you'll be letting us know what kind of video that you want to see on this channel and what you think everybody will want to see yeah mm-hmm. so we will put it up on the channel for 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 you guys mm-hmm. if you purchase into it, the it, book. It, it can be anything from fight videos to comedy skits or whatever you want us to yes. do that we've never done before yep no nothing nothing on that line so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> nothing r18 everything here is family friendly. I, thought, I, I thought everything under the sun everything under the sun the, everything under the sun but not where the shadows hit. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's, Whoa. Uh, that's actually very nice. Okay, yes. That's happily put. That's very happily put. So nothing shadowy paladin. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So that that's basically all the membership perks. Uh, and if you if you want to join us, just click the join button and tell it, uh, and just um, you know decide on what how what amount you want to put in there, and you will be a member immediately. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, so we. Uh, what we do encourage you to join us uh, on the YouTube membership, right? If it's not within your means to do so, that's absolutely perfectly fine. Yep. Just making sure that you like our videos, share our videos, subscribe as well. Uh, that way, it's mm. enough help as it is. Also, but uh, any further help that you want to contribute to us, similar mm. to what we do with Patreon, yeah. you can do so here on YouTube. Correct. Yep. And I just realized one thing: we've been talking about like 40 minutes, and we still don't have a name for this podcast. 
us. <laughs> ah, so if you do subscribe, you can actually suggest the names yeah, uh, yeah, to yeah. us, and then you can kind of give us an idea of what we're going to name this podcast. Yes. Yep. Oh, one last thing I didn't mention in our first Vanguard perk. Uh, if you are a member with us for just that very simple amount, uh, you can also be part of the live chat with all your with all the loyalty badges and emojis in there. Yep. And members only chat also. That one we will come in later. Mm-hmm. And super chats. It's not just a video thing. Uh, that one only when we hit much bigger, then we will have super chats. We will do more live streams. So that, uh, we do more live streams. Yeah. So so maybe maybe in <laughs> maybe we, if enough support, right? We can actually have this. Uh, podcast live actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can actually do this live, so then we can actually go through super chat. You can yeah. have your super tattoo time. Yes, Joel will be our very first VTuber. Uh, no, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> then we get to do our Vanguard time. Clock <laughs> 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 up. <laughs> so many dolphins in this. So, <laughs> so many. <laughs> so many. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta put them all in. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's about the forty minute marks. I think we've hit a pretty nice number for mm. our podcast. I think that's about it. Uh, do you guys have anything else you want to say? I'm the only guy that's not wearing glasses up to this day. <laughs> wait, me oh, too. Wait. Oh wait, oh yeah, <laughs> team glasses, team no glasses. Hello. Hello. So usually okay, there, everybody here has glasses. Yeah, everybody, everybody. I noticed that if you look at the posters, right? Yeah, sorry, sorry, right, Everybody's wearing glasses. Yeah. <laughs> for ten years, I'm gonna keep it at that. Right. What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, eyesight is getting worse. You're blind. Oh, what? <laughs> we were not deaf. <laughs> wow. Right. You know, just because uh, we are, just because we are blind doesn't mean we don't have a stickler for details. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, All right. So on. that's about it, uh, guys. Thank you guys for watching this very very long podcast. Uh, it was originally supposed to be an hour long. Yep. But I think forty minutes is a good uh, yeah, is a good, good start. So, yeah. uh, if you like this video, please slam the like button. Like this, uh-huh. and then and ring, ring a ding the bell. Yep. So you'll be caught up with all our dates. Ring, ring a ding a bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's a thing now. <laughs> it's a thing. Yes. So uh, at the same time, um, join us on our Discord and follow us on all of our socials so on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And yeah, our Discord. We'll be there most nights. Nice. Joe will be there also. Uh, he's mm. he's getting more active in Discord as well. So you yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I always appear offline. So. Mm. Yeah, so if you want to talk to him, uh, to talk to Jaya specifically, you need to tag him. You need to call him out. Yeah, yeah. you need to call me. Yes, call him out and call him up. Why would you want to talk to me? <laughs> yeah, but why? You want to talk to me? Why would you want to talk to them? You can talk to us. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why. Right. Yeah, why you talk to all of us? Because this is CBGS. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Yep. 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 All right, that's, that's about it. it for this podcast. Thank you guys. We'll do another one very soon. Uh, with with or without some special guest. Uh, we will announce it when the time mm. comes. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next podcast. Bye! Bye.